by popular demand, Henry the Moth gets a second viewing today. And um, I'm going to continue talking about this very important issue that Jesus is addressing, which is prayer. All the world religions seem to pray and have a way of praying, be it formal, informal, smells, bells, candles, in a building, outside a building, loud, quiet. And it may come as a surprise to even Christians that Jesus says there is a way to pray. There is, it's not as the Pharisees were doing in his day, praying long, elaborate, clever prayers. And today he looks at the way pagans pray and equally is dismissive. In Matthew chapter 6, it says in verse 7, When you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Jesus addresses this issue of babbling talking over and over and over again, thinking of God as some sort of divine slot machine, that the more words you use, the cleverer words you use, the more you put in, hopefully the more you'll get out. But Jesus says that's not how his disciples pray. He's encouraging them in what the ancients in our traditions, in Christian traditions, have taught us to begin all prayer in the same way. The prayer of recollection, the prayer of drawing aside, closing the door, finding a quiet spot and quietening your soul before Almighty God. Putting a hand over your mouth, if you will, and just bringing to mind the fact that God is on the throne. And beginning those prayers by saying these two words, Our Father. In doing that, we begin prayer as Jesus commends us to begin prayer, reminding ourselves that God, who is in heaven, is our Father. And to have God in that intimate way is to have everything, that God is sufficient, that whatever our circumstances, we can say to God, our Father, you are enough. And talking about enough, this Friday we have our a second opportunity to join with RM, Relational Mission, Mike Betts, and the other groups of New Frontiers of our family gathering together for one hour this Friday, six o'clock, to pray. Pray for God to come for thanksgiving. Pray for God for our churches. Pray for God for the world. Pray for God for a vaccine and to join together in this way. So can I encourage you to sign up? There's children activities, there's things for us to do. And it will be a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to link hands with brothers right across the world and to come together in united prayer saying, God, you are enough. And God, we've had enough of COVID and we want to see your breakthrough. Bless you.